I'm Carrie Lambert, I'm the Lean Burn Engineering Program Manager for Rolls-Royce. Well, when I was little I did want to be an astronaut and then I really liked maths and science and I was always that probably annoying student in the class asking the teacher loads of questions. I think I was just naturally quite inquisitive and wanted to understand how things work and how they, why they were the way they are. So that led me into studying engineering and physics at university. But to be honest, I didn't really know what it was about until I studied it and then later learnt a lot more when I actually started working as an engineer. I think in order to um, bring more women into STEM, studying STEM subjects and also engineering and scientific fields in general, it's really important to actually increase awareness of what it means to be an engineer or to, to work in one of those fields because I think the general public's view of what an engineer is, as my own was, is very, very limited and really not representative of all the opportunities that are available and how varied they can be. I also think encouragement is really important. I think a lot of um, young women particularly doubt themselves and may not think they have the skills to go into a field like this because they don't necessarily understand the breadth of skills and strengths that, um, that you need really to prosper as an engineer. It's not all about maths and science but you know being logical and having that as your basis is important. One tip would be to yeah, really learn about what does it mean to be an engineer, talk to people, ask them about their jobs. Lots of people are a bit afraid to do this, but that's how you really gain an awareness of, of what a job actually involves. I'd have a go at it, so I think if you can get some real work experience in an engineering company or you know, in a, some sort of um, labs or something where you think you might have an interest, actually go out there and try it and see if it is something you like, because that's the best way you'll, you'll know. I don't think I've been sort of adversely impacted by being a woman in engineering. I think the pressure actually can come from inside. I know there's been uh, situations, particularly when I was a really young engineer, where I've walked into the room to present something and it's you know been a room filled with male, more experienced engineers and you know there's a little voice in your head that says you know you're rep representing womankind here, don't say something stupid but that's that's an internal thing, I don't think that's what the people in the room are thinking so it's something you just have to sort of get over and as you as you develop more experience and you develop more confidence in yourself it, it gets easier so you just have to hang in there and, and believe in, in what you've got to offer. I think Rolls-Royce is really good at people development generally and generally provides a really supportive environment for both men and women. There are some specific activities in support of women such as the Women's Network, um, also things like you know some good, fair and flexible kind of um, maternity and post maternity arrangements trying to sort of help women and men to help with sort of the mix of childcare and uh, the work-life balance with, with also their work and career progression. So there's some really good initiatives. Mm -hmm.